Hi, everybody. It's Lori from Lori's Lifestyle. How are you doing? I thought I would take a portion of my day off and go live and kind of do a chit chat and a live uh, live life update. Um, as you can see, I got rid of the gray and it looks it looks more red, um, strawberry blonde in this lighting, but I'm underneath the umbrella, which is like a rusty red orange color. So um, I had to get rid of the gray because at work I kept getting um, cat called, as we call it, um, out the windows. Uh, hi, Grandma. So yeah, that did it. I had to get rid of the gray. So hopefully everyone is doing well. I don't know where you are in this big big world. I am in Florida um, via Indiana, I guess. Um, still loving it here. It's beautiful. Um, the only thing I can say is that I'm learning new things about Florida all the time. One is that there are these little bugs that come out twice a year, apparently, in May and September, and they're called love bugs. Yes, they're really called love bugs, and they are a real thing. They're irritating. Um, so I will be glad when the <laughs> September is over. Um, also learned that in the state of Florida, you know, in Indiana, north and south and east and west, I always had my, my marbles about me where I was at. Down here, I get totally confused. East and west seems north and south to me. East and West, it's just, I'm all discombobulated. Um, but apparently the roads in Florida are built on a diagonal because Florida is not very wide. Therefore, if they built north, south, direct routes, there would be a lot of roads and I don't know. That's what someone at work told me the other night. I know I-95 and I-75 run through the state uh, vertical. So, but major roads like in the city or in the town where I live, they're built on a diagonal. So I get totally confused. I, I need to get a compass because I have no idea where I'm at half the time, direction-wise. I know where I'm at, but direction-wise, no. Um, let's see, there were three things. The love, oh, in the mornings when you go out to um, start your car, there is moisture on your windshield. And when I first started going and coming to work, because I go to work, you know, seven at night and I get off at seven in the morning, seven in the morning, I would drive home with my windshield wipers on like most of the way. Well, then someone told me at work, if you run your defrost on high, on hot, it dries out your window. Duh. So that's what I do now. Um, today it is hot. It is mostly sunny. It is right now, I believe it's 93 degrees. It's supposed to be 98 today. Um, I can notice today the humidity is not as bad as it normally is. Beautiful day. Um, haven't gotten in the pool yet. I've actually been working on my planners. Um, hey, how are you? Look, I've got my sunglasses on because my eyes are so swollen from sleeping last night. I slept so hard. Um, but Donna, I'm glad you got to got to catch me. Um, not a whole lot going on. The house is on the market. It has been shown a couple times. I am trying to find a cleaning service to go in and deep clean everything, clean the carpets, the furniture, the walls, the windows, get everything done. Cause the way it is right now, it's kind of like just my son moved out and I moved out with things still there and it's just not to my liking. So, um, I did get a lawn service. I have a lawn lady now to mow and trim and keep that under control. Um, my son is obviously too busy with school and working full time to be able to go over to the house and take care of anything. He um, he opted to move out with some friends. So that's that. Um, the divorce is still a divorce. Um, oh, you're driving and listening. <laughs> that's funny. I do that too. Um, the divorce is not filed. Um, the ex is wanting to know when it's going to be filed. And right now, I don't know. I mean, if he wants the divorce to be done, he can file it right now. I have things to take care of with me, myself and I, and that's my number one priority. The divorce is at the bottom of the list. Um, can't even see it at the end of the tunnel type thing. I don't plan on getting remarried so we can stay married till the day I die. Um, 
which we all know could be any day with the job I have, God forbid. Um, but yeah, that's where that's at. Um, I know I'm still married on paper, but other than that, I'm really not married. Um, I am, let me see. Oh, my romance, my social life. There is none. Um, I was married 13 years to this individual. It's 13 years, July 10th. And we split up on Christmas of 2018. So, um, yeah, not a, not a real big hurry to, to pay out money to get a divorce. For what? Um, I am not dating. I have not met anyone. I'm not trying to meet anyone. Um, dating or getting involved in another relationship is just, again, at the end of the tunnel. It's not something that I'm looking for. Um, no, he'll get good Social Security benefits off of me, Donna. He's actually on disability. So he can draw off of me, which is just dandy. He has the the attitude that life is good being on disability and you don't need to try and better yourself and why not just get by. And that's not the life that I wanted. So obviously, if you work hard, you can play hard. Um, and I work my ass off. Um, right now, the pay period ends on Saturday morning at 7 a.m. And I am at a hundred, almost 200 hours for this pay period. So I'm over a hundred hours of overtime right now with the hurricane and having inmates brought into our facility, they lifted the cap on overtime and um, I'm just, I'm working. I'm getting that overtime as long as I can. Normally we can get um, 72 hours overtime per pay period because we're short staffed. But like I said, with the hurricane, the dog is chasing the vacuum in the pool. That's the barking noise that you hear. Um, but normally, you can only get 72 hours overtime. So with the cap being lifted because of the storm, I am cashing in on all the overtime I possibly can. 16-hour work days, back to back. Get that money. It's all about the money. It it. Money is not the root of all evil. If, you, <laughs> if you're like me, when money is about bettering yourself, and bettering your life and saving and preparing for retirement. You know, it was a real shock and a real slap in the face when I went through orientation and the good retirement um, that they offer through the state of Florida. Well, some people say it's good, some not, but it's an investment type deal. And most people retire with over five hundred, six hundred thousand dollars or more in their retirement fund. Um, I'm too old to, for that to happen, for me to gain that much money in such a short period of time. So I chose to do the regular state retirement, which is um, after eight years, I'm vested. And, you know, then it's a it's a retirement that carries on forever for you. Whereas if you do the other one, um, hold on, just let me, sorry, had a phone call. Um, if you do the retirement that that you you bundle all this money, I mean, if you figure out how much you spend to to live a year, um, that six hundred thousand dollars goes by. It's spent really fast. So there's a lot of people that have worked, retired, and are coming back to work because they've ran out of money in their retirement fund. So I didn't. I, I can't get in on that one, and I guess it's okay. But um, other than that, that's life right now. Work, sleep, wash uniforms, starch uniforms, shine boots, and pray when I go into work and pray when I come out. It's, it's a difficult job. Um, I can't say that anyone can do it because they can't. Um, you have to be very hard. Um, but at the same time, you have to realize that these people are human beings. They're not animals. And as long as they show me respect, I show them respect. Um, they cross that line. They get locked up. That's it. Um, manipulation is real in the prison system. Um, and you have to be strong enough to say no. No is your new word when you work in the prison system. It's always no. Because um, I don't have time for all that. I'm too old to risk this job and my well-being and my future for an inmate. So 
Okay, well, I am going to actually, I think, float in the pool for a little bit while my laundry dries and I cleaned my room, cleaned my bathroom, did some things, and I will. I was not a correctional officer before. Um, I was in the military years ago. Um, I've always wanted to work in law enforcement, but life did not bring it my way. Um, now I have the opportunity and I love my job. So we will talk more in my next live about my job and how I handle those 12 hours behind the walls of an all male maximum security prison. I'll talk to y'all soon. Have a great day, Donna. Have a great day. And I'll talk to you soon.